Hi, 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 hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's get new UBPCL AE 2019 paper solutions, right? Now, the question on the screen is here, consider a unity negative feedback system with a feed forward gain g of s is equal to k divided by s into s plus 1 into s plus 2. The root log c of the system crosses the imaginary axis at so to find the root locus which crosses the imaginary axis so we will take the RS tabulation for which we require the closed loop characteristics so one plus g of s into h of s is equal to zero so we need to find this so based on this h of s is unity feedback so one that implies what we can write is that you can simplify here that is s into s plus 1 into s plus 2 plus k is equal to 0 as we know if we simplify this equation we may get it as s q plus 3 s square plus 2 s plus k is equal to 0 so we will write the rs tabular column so if you apply rs tabular column we may take it uh, we may write as s cube s square s power 1 and uh, s power 0 now so first coefficient 1 next one will be 2 next 3 and fourth one is k so we'll do cross multiplication here so 3 into 2 6 6 minus k by 3 here 6 minus k by 3 and here it is 0 and finally you will get k here now uh, this point this s power 1 term so when 6 minus k by 3 is equal to 0 means we will get a imaginary axis okay now 6 minus k by 3 is equal to 0 so k is equal to 6 so the roots are going to be lie on the imaginary axis but here the po uh, the point where uh, is going to be uh, crosses the imaginary axis means we will take this axillary equation here so this is the axillary equation this axillary equation will consider that is 3 s square plus k is equal to 0 to find the imaginary axis point so s square is equal to k value already we know that is minus minus 6 divided by 3 so s is equal to plus or minus j root 2 is a answer for this question so d is a right answer for this question so we'll move to the next question the next question is a signal x of t follows the following property x of small t plus capital T is equal to x of t for all values of t where t is a positive non-zero value the signal x of t is classified as it is a periodic signal if you want you can cross check with the help of a any periodic signal for example a sinusoidal like this okay it is going to repeat for each and every time period t okay so we'll move to the next question Next question here it is find the Laplace transformation of y of t is equal to t into e power minus phi t. The basic formula here it is so t power n into e power minus a t <coughs> is equal to it is n factorial divided by s plus a whole power n plus 1 is a formula here. Now if we apply here t power n uh, t, t is only here so we can consider n is equal to 1 and e power minus phi t means a is equal to here it is phi now laplace transformation of this term will be so n means 1 so 1 factorial divided by s plus 5 whole power 1 plus 1 so 1 factorial means 1 divided by s plus 5 whole square so our correct answer is c is a correct option for this question right so we'll move to the next question next question here uh, given that d is equal to 10 x ax 
coulombs per meter square determine the flux crossing one meter square area that is normal to the x axis at x is equal to three meters generally what we need to find here is a flux so flux means here it is nothing but a charge now the flux or charge is given by psi which is equal to uh, surface integral of d into ds okay so which can be written in a simplified form psi is equal to d into area okay now here x is x is given x is at 3 meters we require so charge is equal to so 10 into x in x plus i can write as a 10 into 3 into area is how much 1 meter square okay so if you write the units here so area is in meter square and uh, 10 is the number coulombs per meter square into mm, x is 3 meters right so this is going to be meters meters gets cancelled it is going to be 30 coulombs will get the answer so a is the right option for this question here next question here a conductor has a constant current of 4 amperes how much charge passes a fixed point on the conductor in one minute so here they ask the question how much charge passes <coughs> sorry sorry how much charge passes a fixed point on the conductor in one minute so actually the basic definition of current is i is equal to dq by dt or i is equal to q by t you can write what's the charge units q is equal to i into t so it should be ampere seconds of the units but in a in the given question none of the question none of the options matches with this answer here now q is equal to so current uh, current i it is a 4 and a t is in seconds here okay so t is in seconds means uh, they ask it for one minute so one minute means 60 seconds here so how much 240 ampere seconds or 240 coulombs is the right answer okay so among the two options these are wrong okay answer is 240 coulombs okay next question and for this next question evaluate the integral minus infinity plus infinity e power minus t into delta of 2t minus 2 into dt so for this uh, mathematical problem if you solve it you will get the answer of 1 by 2 so next question find the voltage v across 10 ohm resistor in the following circuit if the current control uh, sorry, control current ix is 2 amperes so here it is a current source so ix is given 2 so 4 into 2 means how much it is it is 8 amperes of current flowing here and 4 is going here and remaining here it is how much it is 4 so if you want to apply can apply kcl 8 is coming here and 4 for outgoing now voltage drop here so v is equal to i into r how much current is 4 into resistance is 10 so it is going to be 40 volts so these are right option for this question so we'll move to the next question next question in a conductor a conductor carries a current of 20 amperes and is at right angles to the magnetic field having a flux density of 0.9 t if the length of the conductor in the field is 30 centimeters calculate the force acting on the conductor the formula for this question is f is equal to b i l into sine theta so theta value is given as 90 degrees above because there are the right angles now b is given how much 0 0.9 into current is given it has 20 amperes into length is in meters okay so 30 into 10 power minus 2 meters so if we solve this it will be uh, 5.4 newtons so answer is this one here okay i'll move to the next question here system in which the output has no effect on the control action is called in simply direct equation it is open loop system so in a system a system is there 
okay if it is system has a output and here has a input okay the output has no effect on input why because there is no feedback here there is no feedback connection is not there so the current system is called open loop system suppose the feedback is there that means then it's called as a closed loop system here next question a buck converter is used to control dc motor the input is a dc to the buck converter is 200 volts so input to the buck converter is input to the buck converter is how much you are giving it is 200 volts find the duty ratio of the pulse applied to the converter to produce the output of 150 volts here okay so in this buck converter what we need to find we need to find the duty ratio how can you find the duty ratio so duty ratio is defined as uh, v buck converter means output voltage v naught is equal to delta into vs so delta is nothing but uh, output voltage is 150 divided by vs means it is 200 okay so 15 by 200 means it is mm, 3 by 4 it is nothing but 75 percent as a right option for this question so we'll see that option here so 75 percent is a right option for this question thank you friends thanks for watching my video if you like my video please subscribe share and comment thank you